So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first game of this best of five between Team Liquid and Team Secret off to a start. Bog, looking at some of these heroes, some of the, what was jumping out to you? Pointed it out to me to start with. It is Yapso on the tie. It is indeed. That is a very interesting changeup. It looks like they are also going to be running some type of aggro, trying to put the pressure on. Also, we looked at the draft, right? They opened with OD, a bit of a changeup. We know it's a very popular mid one here. For me, I saw that and I was like, all right, they're trying to deter and make it so Liquid doesn't want to pick this Morphling. But Liquid, they go for it anyway, even into an AA, which is one of the more natural counters. Sure, Morphling can now play around it because you have your morph, so you can switch HP pools and then you can avoid that uh, you know, breaking since you drop pretty low. But still is definitely very tough to play against the AA because your morph doesn't work in the early gates, early stages, and they have a lot of disable as well versus it. I mean, and, and how hard is it to play in a game where there is an OD? Like, what is it that's so strong about the OD in the game against the morph? Is there a certain point of the game where it's just that this morph's going to get focused and have all this stolen? Like, how hard is this for Miracle? It just you're a lot of the times you're pretty low HP inside of the fights, and your your strength is that you're going to morph up. The thing about OD is you do one of the highest burst damages in the game. You walk in, you get a big OD ulti on top of that Morphling. Look at Morphling's intelligence as well. You have to itemize in order to be able to get there. Probably that Scotty in the later stages so that he can actually have the stats to deal with that OD. Speaking of OD also, since they did open with it, we're looking at Liquid's draft and they have, I think uh, Tsunami was mentioning it, a lot of silence. OD does not really like playing against that too much, so the itemization might be an early BKB for mid one, just if he wants to be playing versus that in particular. Yeah, it certainly feels like he, he is gonna have to do so. As the lanes as they'll start, of course, Matu taking the Drow to mid. As he'll go for the one for one here up against that OD. The tri lanes beginning on the side. Both teams getting aggressive. As bottom lane, already a bit of an attempt onto Miracle, but he has got the shift. Is it enough? It's not. He's dead. Secret. They'll get first blood as Miracle gets caught out. Underestimating the control and damage from that AA. They didn't even. That wasn't even with a gush. That was just him dying to the two other right, the two uh, ranged heroes right clicking him. And Miracle ports back down. They're going to look to go on this, this Morphling immediately. And you see Liquid already. They're starting to make some adjustments. Uh, Liquid's got to send someone else down here to give Miracle a bit of a helping hand as he's struggling against the three heroes of Secret. GH will be there by his side to offer some sort of safety, but Miracle has to be careful. Secret with this tri lane. Really putting the pressure onto the Morph in the laning stage. They just got this fantastic lane setup because Zai went top as well. He had his own sentry. He gave, they actually gave the Sanking two sentries to make sure that he can Sandstorm and stay versus that tri lane that was there. So Zai gets the whole first wave. He doesn't get all the last hits, but he just stays inside of the wave as a Sanking. And now he's versus a Darkseer. They've even warded and blocked several of their camps to make sure that they can make uh, have Zai have a good game. And down bottom, Liquid. They're trying to break into the tri lane of Secret, but GH is focused. He's frozen. GH is dead. Miracle will try and find Puppy. The Thunderstrike upon him and a wave form forward. Liquid will get the trade. As they take the one for one, Yapso now could also be the focus as Miracle, with our high hand, Aji punching into him very hard. He has to back off. So Liquid now having the three down here, making sure that Miracle has got that backup and they can start to get the Morphling farm and have an answer to the tri lane of Secret. Massive creep wave coming in for Secret. They're going to be level two, two and a half on some of their heroes here. So Liquid, they're going to have to be careful in these next few uh, upcoming moments when they're going to get pressured. Air Spirit still only level one. Same thing with that Disruptor. Morphling is two though. Looking at the other lanes, we're going to start seeing the we see these 1v1 matchups. Darkseer versus these, just whoever can out-efficiency each other. Darkseer doesn't have that many camps available, as we were mentioning, there's a lot blocked. We saw Secret put two wards actually to block their camps, and I believe they were able to at least de-ward one that was blocked by Liquid. So Zai will be manipulating and moving around, trying to keep the farm, but MC will be ahead. It's bottom lane, once again, Yapso. Getting caught cool on the front lines. The Thunderstrike of the waveform for Miracle, he's gonna go this for the kill, dead. he will get it, but Miracle, can he keep himself alive for this one? He can. They're still moving in on towards Nisha. Kuro with the kinetic field, locking Nisha down. The roll forward from GH. Nisha is still alive. He's getting himself underneath Ooh. the tower, but GH is trying to chase the gush from Yapso. Will slow GH down as Nisha can turn. Kill off GH. Nisha will survive. Now down in the lane, Miracle and Puppy still going at it with one another. As Miracle will have to walk back, he is out of region. Only those four one charges that he's holding onto at the moment. And GH, yeah. nothing to offer him in terms of heals. They're getting Nisha a little bit more farm in particular in comparison to Miracle, but Miracle's gotten two kills. So Battle of Regen we'll start to see coming out as Miracle has no tangos or salve. GH no tango salve. We see Kuroki does come down, bring a salve and two tangos, but secret, they're gonna have more regen. Bottom, GH, with the rolling, kicks Yapso back closer towards Miracle. Just have to be careful how he extends in 
Underneath this tower, Nisha can lay down Spark Graves and have turnaround potential if Miracle gets a little too greedy, but he's playing it cool. Keeps the wave coming back in, Poppy. Straight back to the bottom lane as well. And looking around this four minute rune spawner is an invis down bottom. GH with a block off onto Yapsil, but GH is taking heavy damage here from the tide. Yapsil moves in, does get kicked back. Thunderstrike on Yapsil, bringing him down low, but Kuro's frozen. Anchor smash from Yapsil, secret get the kill. And GH will be able to grab that invis up top. Mind control just able to run down Zai with the iron shells and gets a solo kill. And, and Zai's missing so much experience under the tower here. I think he missed almost a full creep wave and a half or so. See that Darks here really starting to benefit so much out of this top lane. That's going to be a really early dominator. And we've seen what my control has been able to do throughout this tournament with that. That can put a lot of pressure on the lanes. He could just surge a creep in behind mid one very early on because how early he's going to have it. Mid lane, pretty much trade farm coming out between the two of them. Not an exciting matchup to watch. We're going to be watching bottom. Bottom's a lot of fun. That's GH. Still with that Invis ring that he did pick up at the four minute mark. Secret have to be careful. If he's able to get a sort of kickoff onto one of them, could set up for some action. But as it is, they'll head back towards the five minute runes. Bounty trades. There'll be two apiece between the team. Secret moving in again towards Miracle. GH and Kura are here though. GH able to roll and get the stun off onto Yapsaw. They'll try focusing the tide with that Thunder Strike Miracle. He's actually looking towards Nisha. Nisha getting bought very low. Now towards Yapsaw. Adaptive strikes out. Yapsaw surely gonna die here. Miracle wave bombs forward. He'll get the kill. Now turn towards Puppy. They do lose Kuroki. A miracle staying alive. He's still a little behind in CS, but he's getting a lot of these kills down bottom. GH immediately rotation towards the mid lane. He's on top of mid one. Mid one turning. We'll get GH. Can Matuba finish up the kill? He's That's killed the He's trying. The ult's there. It's not enough. Matu does claim the kill onto mid one. The Sanity's Eclipse won't allow him to bring the Drow with him. Having those triple early Wraith bands, you know, just stats early on. Going to be very good versus that OD. Only a null right now on that OD as well, but he does get a trade kill. At least he gets the Earth Spirit inside that rotation. And incredibly early, early game rotations, but it's exactly even pretty much. 13 kills in those six minutes. Both teams just running at each other for this time being, trying to guarantee that they can get some farm on these carries. As we're seeing it play out right now, Nisha is about 300 gold above that Morphling, as expected, I think, in this one. There's just so much pressure in spells that it seems like Secret can nuke out a little bit easier. So they're having to spend more regen on Liquid down bottom to keep Miracle healthy. But now he is sitting on those 14 wand charges. So killing this Morphling, he's level 5 as well. It's, it's not going to happen anymore. Secret might, not, might start moving out of this lane soon. They can kill the supports, but yeah, killing that Morphling is going to be a very tough task. Level 3 Morph, or level 3 Attribute Shift is yeah, very tough to bring down. Yeah, pretty much to eat the most... Uh, the caller they have the chance of killing the best secret would be that Drow in the mid. Uh, top lane, obviously, mind control with the start that he's had. He is a tough one to take down. Soaring, Helm of the Dom, bottom lane, GH in Miracle. They'll find Japsaw. He'll land a position once again. It's another kill for Miracle. Uh oh. Four kills now, seven minutes in. Miracle getting kill after kill after kill. It looks to be a good start for this tri lane down bottom from Secret, killing him early on. But Miracle, he's come back with vengeance. And sure, the farm wasn't there at the start, but he's catching up. Top lane, mind control. Also playing around with Zai. Zai has got the burrow strike, but he actually sort of gets trapped in by his creeps a little bit, taking a lot of damage from the iron shell. He's trying to hide here with the sandstorm. Mind control keeping on top of him though. Zai nearly oh dying as mind control nearly reads his movements perfectly. Burrow strike for Zai. He's got to be careful here. Mind control, does he want to go for this? He's got the vacuum. Oh mind God. control. Absolutely godlike plays here on his dark seer. Yapsor, he wants to find him and he does. So will finally end it. But able to dance around and get Zai as Zai makes the mistake of trying to come back close to him. Get themselves some trades, but this big concern is that tri lane. Sure, they got kills out of it down bottom, but this Morphling level six already. Miracle, top three net worth. All three cores of Liquid at the moment are that top net worth. And we saw Matumba Man. He just went to the Ancients. We see it happen so often. As soon as he hits six, doesn't even want to stay in that mid lane because he can just out efficiency. Just put the Disruptor mid. Make sure Kuroki gets those levels. As we said, very good game for the Disruptor. They have a lot of different ways to catch with this hero. With that Earth Spirit, they have lots of ways to get vision and just constantly get and uh, go for those kills and glimpse backs. And so much setup and wombo combo with yeah. that mind control vacuum potential. We've seen it a few times already here hmm. on the main stage in this game. It's another beautiful lineup for mind control to play around. You see Secret, they changed it up now. They're like, all right, we need to actually put the OD versus the Morphling. We can't actually have Nisha down there anymore. We have to be able to try to threaten, and we have to get Nisha free lane. So Nisha goes toward that mid. 
top we see the pressure that my control is putting out, even using an aggressive glyph here. He's just doing so much on this top lane. You know, Yaps or Zai, they, the, the two of them pretty much have to stay up here. If one of them gets left alone, with that Helm of the Dawn, with those Centaurs, Mind Control can really give them a run for their money. You can feel that Yapsor is pretty happy in this game, though. He's level 6 as a Tidehunter support already. That's pretty significant. He's also pretty farmed as well. All of Secret actually kind of evenly, uh, evenly sharing that net worth around that 3k right now. It's bottom lane. Hit bomb. We'll get Glimpse back here into the Kinetic Field. Liquid, they've got Miracle with a wraparound. Jinx will miss the roll forward, but it doesn't matter. The four of them have the right clicks to take mid one out. As Poppy was heading down. But as you say, Mipon a little too far out on his own by that Radiant Tier 1 tower. And playing versus a Disruptor as well. When you push yourself that far, you, you have to expect the rotation's gonna come down. And Miracle, of course, like you said, getting another one of those kills. Stop Zyne. He's gonna drive for this over the episode. He absolutely kind of dying to the Iron Shell. Mind Control, he's gonna be able to walk away as they've used the Epi, they've used the Ravage, but Mind Control is still alive. The Power Strikes will be back up. But Zai, he still can't quite kill his dogs here. Mind control, he's just gonna turn, run him he's down. He's level 10, he's got the damage talent. Oh my god, that was a situation where they use Ravis, they use Epicenter, but Mind Control just ends up killing the two of them. That back down bottom, Liquid, another kill, as Puppy's found, as Liquid, 2k lead. And um, this mind control, Darkse, I think if you're secret in the rest of this draft, it's got to go. He's you let leveled. him have this hero. He is playing it so well. Let's look at the levels really quickly. Level 11 on the Darkseer. Drow Ranger, who has been, in. Drow Ranger has been hitting Ancients for a long time and only level 9. This Darkseer getting that kill on the Sanking, that he's, 90 damage uh, talent. You he, see him punch him. He's absolutely styling on Team Secret. He absolutely is mind control, totally crossing the lane. He's broken the talents. He's that talented, as they've got to watch out for this Darks here, but it may be just, it feels a little too late already. You know, it's just a 2k lead, but Mind Control's Darks here. We've just seen this story so many times before. Yeah, and he's applying so much pressure. Like you said, they use, bur they use the Epicenter, they use the Ravage, and that means now they have so much time that Miracle has no pressure on him. Same thing with the Draw Ranger. Matsu just continues to hit these stacked Ancients over and over again, providing this extra attack speed, of course, for his Morphling to farm even faster as well. So you see Miracle going for the, uh, the Lincoln's build this game, wanting to be able to block out the stun in particular from that, from that sanking, and it, it's going to be good stats. Great stats versus that OD. We see Secret, they're trying to make up for their early game now by, they're queuing up Midas's. My, Midas on Nisha, of course, but then that Midas on the OD. They have to try to find something to catch themselves back up in this game. It is a long window, though, where any sort of potential BKB will be prolonged. Yeah. on mid one's OD, and we already talked about the issues with that, with the amount of silence and team fight that Liquid have. If Liquid start to go, start to push past these tier one towers, it's going to be very hard for mid one to attend a fight and actually have any sort of impact. Yeah, they're trying to get a wraparound here for this mid. Oh, they they actually the actually morphling, but he gets Bar the off. He does indeed start building up that HP, and now the counter play. GH rolls in, gets the silence off onto mid one. Anger ties down onto Zai. See if Liquid can still find a way to get on top of him. Zai hiding in the sandstorm, and Liquid will hug the tower. No need for them to chase out unnecessarily. They'll They're just still... focus back on the push and take that mid-tier one. Yeah, still a lot of damage that's going to come out. If you walk into Sandstorm, it's not just a Sandstorm in this game. It's a Sandstorm with an Ice Vortex. So the damage is very high that does come out from them. So still have to be a little bit careful, even though you do have this lead. But sticking around my control is going to be really nice, and his itemization is going to be fantastic this game. He's going to have such an early pipe for his team. And we look at Secret's damage, they have so much magical damage. It's pretty much all magic until the very, very late stages of the game. Deep aggressive wards as well, continue to play in that aggressive stance, since they're definitely feeling very confident if they're rallied around this Darkseer. Level 12. Level 12, hood pretty much there. Especially with this tower. They did kill him the once this game. Uh, it's, it's one of those heroes that, that's in a place where I don't know how they're gonna kill him again. Yeah, I mean, once he's got, once he's got the hood, yeah. Hood and the pipe. It's going to be extremely difficult. We also see Matui queues up a BKB, like we're talking about. Secret, just very, very magic damage relying until later stages. Liquid with very firm map control as they take out so many of these towers already. And Secret can't really knock on towers now. The lanes are always going to be pushing in because there's a Drow Ranger and Liquid. They're already starting to make their eyes on Roche. And Secret, they just don't have the heroes to hit towers. Yeah. They have to get it just through straight skirmishes. They will at least get an AA blast inside that pit. Deter them for a few moments. They have the team files back up, Secret, Ravage, Epicenter, Sanities. It is there. 
But they may have no interest in coming over. They know that Liquid has the lead at the moment. Tough to walk into as well. You're playing versus this high-level Darkseer who now has high-level Vacuum, and you're playing versus this big Wombo combo. We've seen it so many times. Disruptor with that Darkseer. Sure, the Earth Spirit as well, but Disruptor with Darkseer, when you have high-level Vacuum, you, wa you, you need Blink Daggers with Secret. You need to have the Blink Daggers to get into the back lines, or you're all going to get caught inside of that Static Storm just walking in. CP's down bottom. GH, able to get the roll in onto Yapsaw. There's backup coming in as well for GH to make sure they have the damage to do this. The piercing arrow is flying in and Yapsaw's gone. Zai just find the two-man forest strike. Ice Blast down onto GH. The silence but Liquid, is... they'll chase on. Zai, he's trying his best to hide around the trees, but they'll find him. Two more kills for Miracle. That's pretty... That's going to be close to the Lincolns now finished for this Morphling. 7-1-1 one, and one into... A... If you look at the draft, I mean, the Morphling, you can say that there are some natural counter picks on the opposing side, but this laning phase setup, Liquid. Now looking to siege another tower in secret. They're all just farming. Massively taking over the early game, Liquid. Definitely so far, as you say, in the draft, very much this early OD may have been in an attempt to, to be a deterrent to Miracle grabbing his Morph. It wasn't. He still grabs it, and so yep. far, it's looking like there's no troubles whatsoever for Miracle. Yeah, Zai's, Zai's really trying to find this blink so they can try to make some aggressive plays every time with that Ice Blast, but they are so on the back foot. Now, these double Midas's, Liquid, if they see... I mean, they definitely have identified the fact that that's happening, so we're going to see them press the issue here. Just look to take out these last two Tier 2s. That Lincoln's as well finished up on Miracle makes him so much harder to kill. Smoked up already looking for a play. Use the first to make the jump. They stop canceling the gust. They know somebody's over here. The Tumba Van's aware. They put the ward down. They find the silence straight in onto Zai. Miracle turns into the Sand King. The Boris Drake. Bam! Zai taken out of the defense. As now Liquid with the numbers, they could just push onto the tier two. They know it's so hard for Secret to fight, even when Secret oh, do have the Kuroki. full five man. He gets the ward on the high ground. He sees Nisha for a second. Another ward down, seeing if he can try and set up for a glimpse catch. They're not going to be the case. They'll get away, but Secret, they've got to get back for this. Liquid, they're just going to siege. They've got the bubble to slow it down. Precision Aura was popped by Matumba Man as well to push out those lanes. Is they're playing it fast, Liquid. Secret, now is I in the game? Ice Blast will be there onto the two cores. Pipe is delivered. He's going to pop it to protect them right now. Puppy. Trying to play around with Matu and another Gus throws the two of them backwards. Secret's not ready to fight this. They don't have the blink on Zai still. They only have Midas's really. Mid one will be able to use his at least on this creep wave, but... It looks like Liquid will relieve some of the pressure. They'll back up, yeah. sort out with the other lanes as both are pushed up towards their own tier one towers. Right. Make sure that they don't miss out on any farm and that they continue to hold the lead that they do have. Yeah, they force the majority back, right? Like they know that Nisha's farming the jungle, but the rest of the heroes were moved back and they still have tier two. So push out that mid lane, get that final tier two. If they can never take out that tier three. We'll see them look to knock on those shrines, take them out as a glimpse. They have so much vision. They do fine. He's out. Zai able to time the burrow strike at the same time as the pullback of the glimpse, I believe. And if you get it right, frame perfect, he's yep. out. Tower though, another one being brought down. They still have two minutes on this Aegis too. They've struggled to kill the Morphling once. Now they have vision though, Matu. They found Nisha. Nisha's on his own, dragged back into the Static Storm. As Nisha, nobody else here to help him out. Well, he's got himself, he'll get the Tempest double out, but it's not enough to turn this around. It's GH and Kuro. The two supports handling Secret's position one on their own. Yep, they were able to find Matumba Man on the side, but now the vacuum's done. Control, dragging mid one in, into the Centaur's done. Waveform up to the high ground, he'll astral himself defensively. Miracle will back off, Yapsaw, Zai, and Puppy there to keep mid one safe. Zai jumping in. Doesn't want to go and look for the lockdown though, onto Liquid. Neither of these cores really, really killable at all for Secret at the moment. He has to let them be. At least the best of a bad situation there for Secret. They, they lose Nisha, they nearly lost mid one as well. They were able to protect him. But as this game one continues, it just looks to be so hard for Secret with this lineup to they, get back after losing this early game. They lost, they haven't barely even touched on towers. I mean, bottom tower's gotten kind of low, mid is about half, but they've lost all of their outer towers now. Map control is just completely gone, all the ward vision as well. He's feeling confident, he's just gonna go straight in. They do turn with a stun, the ice blast, Miracle into the Sand King, three-man bar strike, the pipe up's there for him as Miracle. He'll walk off the ice blast, it won't pop him. 
He has a full wand as well, and of course, still that Aegis, so he's good to go once again. Matsu, he's actually starting to fight on the front lines as he goes towards mid one. Kuro has been caught behind. Gets the vacuum. The, the vacuum onto the few of them. Now they'll turn Yaps up. He'll pop the Ravage, does clip the three of them on the very edge of it. Now mid one, he can move on towards Matsu. They get the Barrel Strike. They have the damage. Matsu, my man's dead, but Miracle's turned up. Looks for Yaps, or has gone. Zai coming in with the epicenter. Can he look for a target? It's still hard. Mind control with that magic resist off the pipe. They don't have the damage to kill him. Now Miracle will turn. Zai's been dusted up. The dust will now wear off. He's still in the sandstorm, they but they turn for the bigger target. Mip one found. My control of Miracle chasing him down. The Iron Shell slowly killing him off. Another surge. Miracle's in. The dodge is there with the Astral. Zai did manage to kill off Kuro, but Liquid are prepared to finish Mip one after he comes out of his little bubble. As now they're back out, out of the base. Zai has pulled back. They have to use everything to kill the other heroes, but that means the two powerhouses of Liquid the Darkseer and that Morphling just run rampant inside that fight. 10, 1, and 4 right now on Miracle as well. And looking at my control, 5, 1, and 8. These two are just absolute beasts. 30 HP per second on this Darkseer too, so he just holds his ground. Even though it's around a shrine, they still just are able to take that fight quite handedly. And that's Kuroki, I think, dying. He didn't get the, like, the best Static Storm, but they had the potential of landing like a five-man Static Storm with that Vacuum, though, which is always the threat that we were talking about. They do have the blink on the sanking, so they can still make some aggressive plays on secret. Ooh. But they're still so on the back foot. Zai, let's blink into Matu. Silence won't quite last long enough to allow Matu to get the kill. Zai's fine. But that's the thing, you know, Zai, with the blink, Burrow Strike, they have to find some sort of incredible three man, four man setup. Yeah. Because overall, Liquid's team fight, even if the game was sort of a a level pace in, in terms of difference in farm, you'd still probably favor Liquid's team fight. Now that Liquid's 10k ahead, it's so hard for Secret to deal with all these silences as we talked about. You know, there's no BKBs anywhere anytime soon on Secret. And Liquid also has, they have the two key items. I mean, now on top of that pipe, they have a mech also for my control. And we look at Secret side, they don't have the same thing in response. They don't have anyone who can really carry it. Sure, they have a Tidehunter who can, they have the Sanking who can, but they're not at that point. They went for that Vlad's on the Tide, and they needed the Blink Dagger on the Sanking to make those aggressive plays. And we see Yapsorb, he also wants a Blink. They need ways to just simultaneously get everybody caught inside of those ultis and blow somebody up right away. But it has not been happening because of how farmed Mind Control is in this game. Are scanning. Now that top lane just ending, ending up being a complete disaster for Secret. As they fed far too much away to Mind Control, making those early mistakes, giving him these, these solo kills on two heroes at a time. Has just boosted him so far ahead of anybody else. It's giving them so much control of the map. All these words I've just been seeing by Liquid just placed very close to the base of Secret. So Secret can't really walk outside whatsoever. See them sending their courier on a quite of an expedition up top here. Is that buying Nisha's Hyperstone? I think it is. They don't want to send it down bottom because it just dies too quickly in, around that area. And they know that Liquid has control there. So let's see what he's trying to get. He's trying to be very sneaky with it. Liquid does have mind control around though, so if they do send the courier over, he will be there with a the hard the hard punch. He could judo with chop that it. Talent, he, he get maybe what a couple of hits and it's dead. I think maybe one hit and he gets a it. One hit, yeah. It's possible. We'll it's see. Flying over, they're trying to get All it. Right. Alright, it'll be safe. We watch. Well at least it will get to the shot. The question it's, is if it, if it gets back. It's pretty rare at twenty two minutes you're having to do this with your courier to avoid the, your own secret shop. That just tells its own tale of how much control Liquid has on the map at the moment. Secret, they are smoking out, trying to find something, but not able to. As Nisha's really the only one farming for them now. Mid one, he's got this Midas, but it's Tranquil Boot Midas Triple Null, and it's 22 minutes in. We compare him to the Morphling, who has an E-Blade and a Lincoln's on top of Treads Double Wraith. 12k gold lead. I believe the experience is also around that 10k. And Liquid with these newly picked up items, definitely going to be looking to fight. Yeah, they know that they've got such an edge, such an advantage. Yeah. They can take the objectives though, Roshan, soon to be back in the game, Liquid. Is that a BKB? That's a BKB on GH. An Earth Spirit with a first item BKB. I mean, he can just roll in and, and sort of the team fight to Sable and damage, he can get out now without having to worry about Secret's heroes. Yeah, I mean, it's we gonna were, be huge. We we're saying it's all magic damage it, on it Secret. Is. He He's... rolls in, he has absolute free reign and he can just, his job is, I get on top of Nisha. Yeah. Stay alive, keep that magnetize going for the full duration. He's going to be able to do it with that BKB. Yeah, and this Roche dies so fast. No way Secret can contest it. Aegis and Cheese now up on Liquid. Firm grasp of this game. They're ready to go. Secret 
They need some sort of insane hold to swing this one back round. Liquid have had this whole game in their control. Apart from sort of like the opening minutes, you know, it was all nice and, and well. Secret getting that first kill onto Miracle. But ever since then, this game has just been going all the way in Liquid's favor as bottom lane. They find mid one. They'll be there to chase him down. There's not really any sort of way he can get out of this. As Miracle, E-Blade, GH with the kick. As he's gone, 40 seconds. I don't think we're going to see mid one have a game at all here in this first game. I don't think so either. He this OD been... is totally out of it now. Yeah, he's won five and one in this game. They have 13 kills just because of most of that action was happening in the tri lane, but the the OD just has not been able to do much of anything. All these silences, all this control that's been coming out, and just the how farmed the Darks here at Morphling are. They just were able to have so such a good start in this game. Miracle. He's, he's just dead. He's he just target. kills Poppy in the base. Just walks in and gets him. The AA is gone. Oh, look at that as, attack speed with the DD oh, as well. Oh my goodness. Is there anything they could do to slow him down? They do have a fortification. And we'll have mid one back in a couple of seconds. All he can really offer though is his sanity. Nothing else that this OD can do at this stage. They're stalling it. These bubbles on the back make it much harder for Liquid to actually hit it. They've got their own bubble. I do. Can keep himself safe. And as we saw there, allowing him to lay down some spark race as well. Keep secret at bay. And Liquid, they'll get the tier three tower. They've opened up the shrine potential. They'll back off and continue to play for the textbook progression, taking yep. the shrines, Bounties playing up it as safe, well. keeping that lead. Yep. 25 minutes also, we see Kuro port stop. He's like, all right, more money for us. Get those bounties. About 500 for each for his team, 90, 90 each player, so. Has fallen. They're secret. just continuing that lead. Yeah, Secret, they're trying to find something. I mean, they have to. They know if they, they sort of play it out from the high ground, this game is not turning around. They've got to look for drastic moves, drastic plays. Yep. Kuro, the only one up here at the top. Not really the target they want to find. Uh, they'll take it even if they can get oh, it. Oh, that was static. very fast. Static and Kuro, going. he's just walking away from it with that static. Kuro is still alive, and now Liquid, they'll come in. Yapsaw does have the Ravage. Ice Blast, Pyro Strike, they're throwing everything onto Mind Control, but he's able to walk it off. And now the back of a Liquid's in. The vacuum comes in onto the two of them. They do lose Mind Control, but there's three dead on Secret. Yapsaw's dead as well. Zai comes in with the Epicenter. Can he find at least something else? Yes, he gets the he two, gets of, two them. of them. All right. He does get two of them, but Secret gets Team White. Miracle gets a triple kill. The story continues in favor of Liquid here in this game. Secret with their best attempts to try and swing things around, try and shake them up, but they couldn't even get that quick kill on Kuro. Kuro, no hesitation, Static Storm, he walks away. Liquid's instant reaction. And when they have the numbers with the lead that Liquid have, it's very hard for them to lose a team fight. They'll always come out on top. Yeah, they just... They just literally just brought everybody. They're like, okay, we can take this fight easily. We're gonna see it again. We're gonna see this great reaction here by Kuro. Catching both, even Yapsor gets like caught right on the edge of it there. And we see those rainbows TPs coming in from Liquid. They try to throw everything onto my control to bring him down. But because of how farmed this Darkseer is, it takes, it takes so, them so long. So much to bring him down. They do get him eventually. But of course, it's all too late. As Liquid with the full five man, they just have the firepower. GH, as you saw there, with the BKB, nothing can touch him. Stays at full health the whole fight. Yep. As now in the mid. They're rolling forward, GH. Yeah, he has BKB. The commit, but he does have it popped again. Sets up with the vision onto this OD as Mipwon glimps back. Kura gets the kill with the Thunder Strike. As Mipwon's dead, he has got buyback. But this game, Feels it, it really does look impossible for Secret Liquid. With a beautiful opener here to this best of five Zai. Tried to jump forward, but Matsu, he's got his BKB done as well. He'll stand his ground. GH rolls in. Zai's dead. Zai buys back. They, they, keep, the they are keeping their racks alive, Secret. Is Liquid still yet able to break that melee all range in the middle lane? Ooh, Miracle's turning into the Earth Spirit now. He has taken that morph target ally. So the control that GH has been able to do, now they've got double. And the other thing with the Earth Spirit, if your Morphling turns into it, you have infinite stones. As long as you don't lose your final stone and you keep shifting in and out, you keep getting refreshed with seven stones every time you turn into the Earth Spirit. As in he goes, Miracle. Goes forward, does get the Lincoln's pop. They're able to get him with the bow strike. Silence out on to Zai. No forever follow up. You all step into the air, we'll dodge the E-Blade. Miracle taps back out. He can go for these risky plays, as you see every single time. Comes back, seven stones immediately restored. He never has to worry about not having stones when he rolls in and makes these aggressive plays as this Morphling. Liquid, they still have that shrine to take top, if yeah. they wish to. 
But they are definitely in, the, in that luxurious position where this game is theirs for, for however they want to deal with it. They can look to push again, and it's very likely they'll be successful with it. Secret, they just don't have the heroes. They don't have the firepower to, to get these kills. Liquid's cores are, are at a stage where they're at least a full item ahead of their counterparts, but in some situations, two, three items ahead. You look towards the farm of Miracle. Yeah, and it's a, the OD doesn't, can't actually go for anything like a BKB. You see mid one, he's, he's had the Hex queued up for so long, but he's just dead in these fights, even if he gets this item. It's just free pickings on him from Liquid. Who ended up grabbing that DD rune? Who has the more play? You see him keep turning into that Earth Spirit and yeah, enjoying infinite stones. And I feel like just so much of this game, so much of the draft really was on the bluff call. You know, Secret saying, if we pick OD, there's no way they'll pick Morphling. If but we Liquid pick AA. Say, yeah, exactly. All these heroes, that in their minds, I'm sure they believed it would be a deterrent and, and mean that they didn't have to ban it. They didn't have to do anything else about the morph. But it wasn't the case. Miracle gets it through. And so far, it has been another incredible performance from him on this hero on the main stage. 14, 1, and 8 Dance on the morph. Is under yeah. These two, are, these, this Darkseer Morphling is just, yeah, such a problem. They're gonna have to have some type of response for it, but Secret still trying to survive in this one, trying desperately to get mid one all the farm. Nisha, Nisha does do a decent amount of damage here, but it's a level 15 Arc Warden in comparison to that level 21 Morphling and bottom. Right, miracle. He's starting it off, he's in onto Puppy, Puppy's gone. BKB pops, we'll see if they can find more. The slow, the silence, Miracle has the control onto mid one, mid one's dead as well. And he's just gonna keep going. He tried, didn't quite get there. As Secret just looking absolutely hopeless in this position now. Drops all, all the, the stones, rocks. and he's got seven more. He just sets it up. Now GH is like, oh, I only have two stones, but now I have lots of stones. I don't really have to worry about it so much. Thank you, Miracle. He's going to kick him freely. That's 20 seconds. Mid one will be back in. They're going in, committing. They're going to try for the combo, but he's already started to shift into the strength. Miracle, he'll get himself out of that. It's a nice blast, an epi, and a ravage down. And it does absolutely nothing. And that was with BKB on cooldown as well. Or the Morphling, he will be able to back up. And if that doesn't do it, what does? You know, secret that I feel like their only real hope is these smoke movements where they come out and they hope that they find a core of Liquid out on their own. But Liquid, they are not a team that's going to allow for that sort of mistake to happen. No, definitely not. And they also now are itemizing to even protect even more. Sure, we've talked about how they have all these uh, ways to protect each other with the pipe in the mech. GH, I believe, now has an Agonyms as well. An item we don't see too often anymore, but if someone does get full focused by absolutely everything, you turn them to stone and you can negate a lot of that damage that will be blowing them up. They feel so confident. They're going for a bit of a bait with Matu. We'll see if Secret Bite. The rest of the team smoked up behind him. Double Earth Spirits prepared. That's GH. He's in. He wants to start things off. Ross 4 pops the BKB. Secret still without a couple of those ults. They weren't able to fight or get any kill when they had them up. And that just tells you how much they'll be able to do when they do not have them. And they're just positioning themselves so so nicely here on Liquid, you see them. I control, they're not staking any of the cores on top of each other. They're separating themselves so they don't get caught by that multi-hero ultimate there that's coming out from Secret. But Secret's been trapped in their base for the last, like, what, 15 minutes or so? Just getting Liquid just farming around the map, checking out for these runes. A DD is spotted to, up toward top, and that third Roche has now been spotted as well. So Liquid, they can back up and look to just clean that one out as they do have the top and the midway pushing, but Nisha is forcing out bottom. Maybe uh, someone will respond. But. It's interesting to see that as well. So because GH bought the Agonims, Miracle, because it's a non-ult spell, he also he gets, gets the Enchant Remnant. Look at that. I'm sure it's intended. That's one of those, like, with the, uh, what, Ogre? Yeah. Morphling gets, uh, you, still you get, get multicast. Yeah, you get a couple of those. You also get the uh, Nimbus from Zeus, but you don't get the Lightning Bolt, but you get the Nimbus, which is very bizarre. So it's, yeah, that's, I'm sure it's meant to work like that. Hey, if it works for several, several different yeah. heroes. So, you know, they, they double the chance to save and, and also, of course, to just he be can able even, to reposition them so far. He can enchant wave in. Kick, enchant yeah. kick. He can wave in, kick, turn someone to stone, and kick them out of the base as a Morphling. It's, I want to see it. We'll see if they are able to go for those sort of clowny plays. I mean, Liquid, they definitely have the liberty to sort of mess around a little bit now with the lead that they have. Yeah. And the fact that this game is definitely looks to be in a pretty unlosable position for Liquid. 
If he can ever get on top of them, you, you're going to see GH hunting for sure. We're probably going to see Miracle as well, looking to just BKB, enchant rending someone, pull them and kick them out of the base. If they catch anybody on the side of Secret with that, they are going to die. It's been so long since I've actually gotten to see Ag's Air Spirit because how bad the, like how bad the nerf was on that cast range. We got to, we got to, I, I will be very disappointed if this game ends and we don't see that soul <laughs> play. You know, all, the, all this build up, all this, you know, at this point, it, it very much is liquid waiting for the time that they want to try and end it. Yeah, they've got everything, right? They've got absolutely everything at their arsenal. A double vacuum combo that can come out from my control as well because that refresher shard. As just prodding and poking at the towers. In and out liquid and nothing the secret can do to jump them. They have got the combos back online, the Ravage and the Epicenter, but we've seen already so many times this game, it just doesn't do enough. Oh, it does not. If they can catch him before he gets the shift, perhaps. It's nice. seeming so difficult. Let's see what we have it. The smoke's ready and secret. They are out. They do get the jump, Matsu. They get Matsu. They get one. They'll let Sakura. They've got the dust. They'll get another. Okay. Bottom lane, though. Miracle pushing in. They've got to go for the TPs. They're all coming in for this one. Mipwon will be able to dodge the follow up blast with the Astral. Miracle hiding in the side of it all, kicks mid one back, Miracle charging forward, they get the bar strike, have they got the lockdown BKB, the, the vacuum. vacuum, the combo, the magnetized secret, getting absolutely destroyed by Liquid's team fight, a triple kill, ultra kill, he's certainly going to want to look for that rampage, they're buying back, they want to kill for Miracle, it. there's the first rampage, he's going to get more, he's going to get more, he's looking towards mid one, Miracle turns, the kick, he's back into the ball fall, there's the second, double rampage for Miracle! But they will pop the Aegis Secret. Matsu now back. moving in with the BKB. They've got to get back. They don't want to afford giving away a triple rampage. There's Miracle. He may just fight. He's looking towards side. The timer could still be there. But the kills are getting the it's it. there. A triple rampage on the main stage in the grand finals of the major. This last pick, Morphling. Miracle just having a field day. 22, 1, and 9. Jumping I, in the base. I don't think he can get the quad rampage. He can! He can! He, can. he gets the quad it's rampage! It's still there! He just keeps it going! A secret That's will enough. finally <laughs> tap out! Holy moly! As Miracle ending the game with a quad rampage. This Morphling. I don't think we're gonna see it again. Secret this game with their draft. They picked the Yoda.